How's it going guys? Chips here with you again with another how to build video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to build this small arena that we have in front of us. This arena has two rooms on each side that are made for the fighters to get ready for the fight, you know, get armed up and everything. Those rooms then lead into the arena, which is kind of small, built mainly for just, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-two, hand-to-hand weapons combat. It then also has some seating built around it, which is meant for, you know, people to come view the fight. And then also there is a, you know, kind of box seat area that would be intended for your tribe who might be hosting this event and then also your tribe leader um, to sit and observe the fight. So this would be a great arena for, you know, having some of your server members over, having some fun events. And guys, if you enjoy this video and you enjoy this build, go ahead and hit that like button. Do me a favor, leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more builds and more videos. But with all that said, let's go ahead and get into this. So we're going to start off with placing seven wooden triangle foundations just in a row. Um, one important note on this is the way you're facing right now, this is the, where your you know gladiator entry area is, those rooms, this is where they're going to be. So just think about that when you're you know, placing this. So place seven wooden triangle foundations and then add another row of seven wooden triangle foundations along it. After you do that, we're going to go back and we're going to place one more row of five wooden triangle foundations right here. And then now with that complete, we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Five wooden triangle foundations. So there we have the base of our actual battle arena. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go on these sides and we're going to build up the you know gladiator entry rooms that we just talked about. So first things first, let's just go ahead and place six normal wooden foundations. Just like this, just make a rectangle. And then go ahead and go do that on the other side as well. So now with that complete, we're gonna go ahead and next we are going to build the foundation for the you know lower seating area that's you know right around the arena. So the first thing we're gonna do is place a triangle wooden foundation, followed by two foundations, another triangle, two more regulars, and another triangle. And that'll make the you know kind of walkway in the front. Go ahead and do that on the other side as well. All right, so next we're just gonna go ahead and continue with this part of the build. So we're going to add three triangle wood foundations, followed by two regular, and then three more triangle, two more regular, and then finish it up with three more triangle. And then go ahead and complete this process on the other side as well. All right, and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to build out the foundation for that you know box seating area that we had. So right here on this center triangle shape, just build out six normal wood foundations. And then once you get this complete, go ahead and on each side of the last foundations, add two more wood foundations. Just like this, trying to make a T shape almost. And then we're just going to fill in these spaces with wood foundations. So you're going to put eight more total right here. Don't place it like that. Place it like this. So go ahead, fill this in, and then eventually we are going to fill in those, you know, kind of cracks right here with more, but we're gonna leave those open for now just so we don't mess up trying to place walls and stuff, you know, around the foundations. It'll just add more snap points that's not necessary right now. But that'll do it for the foundation of the build. If you guys need, go ahead and pause the video and copy what we have. So now with the foundation complete, the first thing we're gonna build up is these entry rooms for our fighters. So on this corner, add a wooden door frame and of course a wooden door. And then next to that, we're going to add one wooden wall here. We're going to place wooden walls along this side of the build. And then add one more wooden wall on this corner here. And then next to it, place another door frame and another door to allow our fighter to get out into the arena. And then on this final side, add wooden window frames. This will allow the you know crowd and the fighter to interact before the fight. So now that we have that first level complete, we're gonna come over to this side where the door is and place a wooden wall and just add wooden walls all the way around until you get to the other door. So we have that. From here, we're going to place the appropriate sloped wooden wall on each side. 
And then after we do that, finally, we're gonna come in here and we're going to place sloped thatch roofs on the first level and then, you know, normal flat thatch roofs on the top level. So that'll complete our, you know, initial build for our fighter entry area. So now that we have that one complete, go ahead and go to the other side and just completely mimic it. Make sure that the roofs are facing down in the same direction. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do for our little buildings here is we're going to add a wooden fence foundation on this side of the door foundation. And then on that wooden fence foundation, just snap one stone pillar and one wood pillar to each side. Should give you this. Then after you do that, go ahead and add a wooden staircase right here in front of the door. And then just wood railings on each side of the staircase. So that'll make up kind of our entryway into these buildings and then go ahead and just complete this on the other building. All right, so now that we have those buildings complete, the next thing we're gonna work on is the arena itself. So first, come into this corner and add a wooden fence foundation, but snap it to this inline snap point. We're gonna do this because it'll help us place the pillars that we're about to place in the right direction. So next, place one stone and two wood pillars. And you'll see they're kind of facing into the arena itself. Then come to this middle point and add another wooden fence foundation on the inline snap. Place another stone pillar and two more wood. And then come to this other corner and do the same thing. One stone, two wood. Then just go ahead to this other side and do the exact same thing we just did. So now with our pillars placed, we're going to come back in here and we're just going to add four high wood railings on each foundation to kind of build up the arena itself. So just go around in all of these gaps and add four high wood railings. The next thing we're gonna do is to build up that lower level seating area. So the first thing we're gonna do is with wood walls, start on this second triangle foundation, not on that first one, here on the second one. Place one there, place two here, and just go all the way around this lip until we reach the second to last one on this side, so right here. Again, don't place one right there. So then we're gonna come on the inside here and we're just going to place stone stairs on attached to every wooden wall that we just placed. So this whole entire area, add some stone stairs in here. Now that you have the stone stairs placed, come back to the outside and go ahead and put a stone railing on the top of these walls. Now over here where we left a gap, go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation on the edge of this foundation. And then after we place that, we're going to snap a wooden pillar, just one right here on the side. Next, we're gonna add a wooden staircase and of course, two wood railings on each side of the staircase. It should give us something like that just to get up in there. And go ahead and go to the other side of this part and do the exact same thing. All right, now with that staircase complete, that completes our seating area for that side of the build. So just go over to the other side and again, just mimic what we did on the other side of the build. All right, now let's go ahead and come back here and we're gonna fill in this gap that we talked about in the beginning with some wood foundations. So 
place two right there, and then you need to place one more here. It can be a little bit tricky to get this one to snap. Just rotate your snap point until you find it. Don't pass it up like I just did. Just get it there, there we go. All right, go ahead and place it like that. Go to the other side, fill in the gap on the other side as well. And then once you have that filled in, we're gonna come into the third foundation right here, so the original one that we had, and we're gonna add a wood staircase right there two wood railings on the staircase, and then we're gonna go ahead and add two more wood railings on these new foundations. It will poke through a little bit, but I don't think it looks terribly bad. I think it's perfectly fine. Come on the other side and do the same thing on the third foundation, add a wood staircase, two wood railings, and then two more wood railings. Once we have that placed, we're gonna head over here to the back of our foundations here, and we're going to add four wood walls right here. And then next to them, we're gonna place a wooden door frame and a wooden door. And then just finish off this back wall with wood walls. And then come back over here where we placed that door and add a wood staircase and two wood railings. Next, on top of these wood walls, we're going to add 12 total stone ceilings hanging off the back. So just go out two and then take that all the way across to the end. Then right here in these center two walls, we're going to add four more stone ceilings to create this little bit of an overhang where our tribe leader or leaders would be sitting to watch the fight. Then here on the side, we're going to add four total wooden walls, but we're gonna flip these ones around. So two on each of these ceilings, and then on top of these wooden walls, place the appropriate flipped sloped wall. So just like that. Then come down to the ceiling again and place a wooden fence foundation on the edge of the ceiling. So place one here, and then we'll place another one on this ceiling. It might be a little tricky. You might have to line it up with the other fence foundation to get it to snap. Once you do though, go ahead to the edge one here and add two wood pillars high. The middle one, add three wood pillars and on the other edge add two wood pillars. Now once you have that done, come to the bottom and add two more wood pillars down to the ground. I think it's two, yes, only two, you only need two. So add two on the bottom of each of these wood pillars. They can be a little tricky to get them to snap sometimes, just work it around until you get it to go. And then once you have this one complete guys, go ahead to the other side of this part of the build and just completely copy this process. Next thing that we're gonna do is come in here and add some more stone ceilings just below the sloped wooden walls, place two. And then we're gonna take this all the way across to the other side of our build. And we are going to go ahead and fill in this other portion as well. So just cover this entire portion with more stone ceilings. And then where we have this little overhang, we're just gonna add two stone ceilings this time. We're gonna leave a little bit of an uncovered lip. Now here on the back side of our build, come to the center and add two more wooden fence foundations on these ceilings. So go ahead and place this first one, and then it doesn't really matter if you place it on the inside or the outside of the ceiling, just make sure you place them in line with each other. So get those two down, and then add one pillar on each side, and then two pillars in the center. Then come to the bottom and add four more pillars to bring us to the ground, and do that on all three of these, obviously. Once you have that complete, go ahead and fill in this gap between the two ceilings with flipped wooden walls. One thing to be careful with is make sure when you place the top ones that you're snapping them to the wall below, not the ceiling above. Next, place a flipped wooden wall between these pillars. Make sure you're snapping it to the outside of the ceiling and not the wooden fence foundation. So place one in each gap, and then add the appropriate flipped sloped wall on top. 
So there we go. Now that we have that done, we'll come around here and add a flipped wooden wall all the way around this side and add flipped wooden walls here on the front and then add flipped sloped walls on top of that. And again, add flipped wooden walls around this side as well. And now that we have that complete, let's go ahead in here and add sloped stone roofs on all of our roof areas. So you'll need four for the sides and then six total for that top roof. So go ahead and do these and get those all filled in. Next, come in here to this corner stone ceiling and add a wooden fence foundation on top of it. And then just place two wood pillars on each side of that leading up to this top part. So place two there, place two here, and then add two more at the bottom going down to the ground. Once you have that done, complete this on the opposite side as well. Next, we will add four stone stairs on each side of our build. This will give us a way up into our box seats, and you could also have additional crowd members standing on the stairs to watch the fight. Go ahead and add stone railings on each side of the stairs. and then go ahead and add four wooden railings to close in this lip. Next, let's close in the gaps next to the stairs. Do this by adding one wooden wall and two of the appropriate sloped wooden walls. We're gonna do this on all four sides around these two sets of stairs. Then we're going to come in here and we're going to place wooden double door frames underneath of these ceilings. So do two here on the side, add four more to these two front ceilings, and then again two more on this side. So that'll give us a nice look of, you know, like some support beams underneath of that balcony without using even more pillars. But speaking of pillars, let's go back up here and just on these two very most front ones, let's add one more wood pillar. I think I like the look of that going all the way to the ceiling. Finally, let's come over here to the side roofs and let's just add two wood railings to each side of the roof. So two there on the front, let's add two more here on the back and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Two on the back, and then we'll head to the front and add two more on the front. And then the final thing we have to do is go around and switch every foundation to block. So just go around the build, switch every foundation to a block, and then that'll be it guys, that'll be our build. But stick around, I'll explain the paint scheme and I'll show you some things I did to decorate. So I've completed the paint job, I've added some decorations. I'll try to quickly explain what I've done just to give you an idea of what you might be able to do as well. So for any of the darker wood, like the floors, stairs, railings, pillars, all of that stuff, I painted those the color mud. Um, it just makes it a little bit darker than what wood normally is, and I think it just kind of adds a good color to it. Next thing I did for these flipped wooden walls over here, I painted those white. So the only thing I painted white was the flipped wooden walls on this building over here. All of the other wood is mud. Next thing I did is these roofs over here. I painted them with the brick color. Uh, so for these stone sloped roofs, they are brick. All the other stone is left alone. And then I also came into the arena here and I added a brick coloring to the center and I added brick on the tips of the pillars. So you can see I painted the bottom pillar mud and then the top pillar brick. I think it's just a nice little pattern in there that kind of adds to the arena, makes it feel a little bit more like a battle arena.
So then moving on to the decorations, if we go over to this building and we look back in the back, I added just some chests, some you know storage bins, some vessels, just stuff to kind of make it feel like it's somebody's place. And then I also added a bunch of rugs to make this T-shape, painted them all red. And then at the end of the rug, we have a kind of throne type of seat where our tribe leader would sit and watch the fight. And of course, I added a trophy mount there at the top just for, you know, a little bit more of the look. Down here in the bottom, we have kind of what is going to be our concession area. So on one side, you have a spot where you can come, you know, order a drink, uh, some food, whatever they have. And then on the other side of this is an open area where, you know, so you can come over and place bets on the fight. So you have somebody taking bets on who's going to win the fight. Back in the general arena area, it does get a little hot here because I added torches all the way around the stairs, added some on the inside pillars for the arena. Again, I just think it adds to the arena look, you know, it really fits the mood of our build. But then if we head inside here to our fighters preparation room, um, I've just placed some benches where our fighters would be relaxing, waiting for the fight. And then I've also added these chests where, you know, we could have some armor, we could have some weapons that they can choose from for their fight and then they head out here to this door, go out to the arena and then they get ready for their battle. But that is going to do it for this build guys. I hope you enjoy it and get good use out of it. I hope the video is easy to follow along. If you enjoyed this guys, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Leave me a comment on what you think. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for future builds and future videos. And also guys, check out the description below for my Twitter and send me some pictures of this build in your arc. Thanks for watching.